This movie's really good. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Journey of Natty Gann. The Journey of Natty Gann is a 1985 theatrical release directed by Jeremy Kagan, cinematography by Dick Bush, editing by David Holden, music by James Horner, and is written by Gene Rosenberg. Jeremy Kagan is best known for The Chosen, Chicago Hope, and the ACLU Freedom Files. Dick Bush is best known for Victor Victoria, The Philadelphia Experience, Yanks, and Sorcerer. David Holden is best known for The Warriors, The Long Riders, and The Rescue. James Horner I covered in the video about Something Wicked This Way Comes. The link will be in the description. Jean Rosenberg is best known for Urban Cowgirl, Bambi 2, and Rip Girls. The film stars Meredith Salinger, Jed the Wolf Dog, John Cusack, and Ray Wise. Meredith Salinger plays Natty Gann and she's best known for Village of the Damned, Lake Placid, and Race to Witch Mountain. Jed the Wolf Dog is just that and he plays Wolf and he's beautiful and I love him. Okay, bye. John Cusack plays Harry and he's best known for Gross Point Blank, High Fidelity, Say Anything, and 1408. Ray Wise plays Soul Gann and he's best known for Batman the Killing Joke, Robocop, Jeepers Creepers 2, and Good Night and Good Luck. The Journey of Natty Gann takes place in 1935 in the United States in Chicago and then from Chicago all the way up and through into Seattle. So just through the United States basically, but a big chunk of it takes place in Chicago in the Depression era. So her father is having a hard time finding work. He finds work, but it's all the way in cutting trees in Seattle, so he must leave Natty in order to go do that, and he promises he, is, he will send for her once he has enough money to buy a ticket to bring her from Chicago to Seattle. The woman who has sworn to watch Natty gets annoyed with her and decides to try and turn her into an orphanage, and everyone thinks her dad actually just left her, but he didn't. He actually wants to get her. And... Natty doesn't want to be taken to an orphanage or anything, so she runs away trying to find her way to Seattle to find her dad. And it is an incredible story. Huh? It has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. And uh, it's been released on VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. It is incredible. The costume design was nominated for an Oscar. Elmer Bernstein did an original score, but was replaced by James Horner. I'm sensing... A pattern here with James Horner. He's never the first composer. He's always the one that replaced the person before him. Um, the film is extraordinary. Five minutes into this movie, I just knew that it was going to be incredible. There's just, you start a movie like this and you go, oh, I'm in for this ride. It's going to be amazing. You can, I could just tell. And it was, every piece of this film was phenomenal. The costume design, the production design, the cinematography, the editing, the music, the acting, the writing, the directing, all of it was so incredible. I was blown away and it, it went slowly. It was like right away I was like, oh wow, the cinematography is really well done. Cool. Okay. And then I was like, oh, I can tell she's like going to be an excellent actress in this film. Like, I'm very excited to watch this girl go on this journey. And then it was, wow, the production design is really thorough and really well done. Wow, the costumes are really incredible and really accurate and just look great on everybody and the color palette and just all of that is very depression era. It was just like a bunch of grays and browns and very sad looking. And then it was like, wow, the editing's really unique. You know, it's a lot of cutting and there are a lot of, you know, wow. But then it was, there were wipes that were really well placed. And I would, it was just slowly but surely. I would, and then of course the, the opening music, I was like, oh, here we go. We are going on an adventure, this film. And we did, you go on the greatest adventure. And then the writing is so good. The journey that Natty Gann goes on is so like you think you would get bored watching her try to go through all the, these trials and tribulations almost, but it was so well done and her and this dog and uh, And I just think the film wasn't unrealistic. You know how some children adventure movies might be a little unrealistic. I feel like it was very realistic in the fact that she doesn't keep the dog. She lets the wolf go back to the wilderness. Spoiler alert. Her and Harry have a beautiful love story. It is not too much. It is not too little. It was perfect. They didn't like each other at first. And then it was just a really slow burn into, they like each other. Just all of a sudden they're getting along. All like, it was just so slowly into like, okay, we like each other. And then he, he finds a job finally and is gonna go to California. And she finds out where her dad might be. And 
he wants her to come with him, but she has to find her dad. And it's such a beautiful goodbye, and they share a very simple kiss, and they're teenagers. And uh, they're children, you know, so it's like, you don't want it to be gross, because they're kids. So it's the simplest little peck on the lip, like, cute kiss on the lips. And then that's it. He goes his separate way, she goes her separate way, and that's it for them. And that's so realistic, because they're teenagers, you know? And it's just, oh, you guys, <laughs> I cried. This movie was so good. Like, I can't... There were a bunch of creeps in the movie. It was just so good. I, I can't say enough amazing things about it. Just everything about this film was on top of its game. I'm surprised I've never heard of this. I'm surprised it's not more well known because this movie is incredible. I know I didn't talk a lot about this movie, but it's because it's extraordinary end of discussion. Go watch it. It's amazing. There are two parent deaths. Natty Gann's mother passed away and Harry's father passed away. They talk about both on screen and because Harry's the main character I am counting that one as well. I cried also so we have that. So um, I think I'm gonna give it 10 wolves out of 10. Oh, so good. Our total movie count is... Our parent death toll is... <laughs> Our cry count is. <laughs> if you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Oh my word. Have you seen this movie? Talk about it. If you don't like this movie, I don't know if I even want to know. I really enjoyed this movie. It's so good. If you haven't seen this movie, go watch it. Come back here and talk about it with me because it's so incredible. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not sure if you are, so you do. And honestly, don't be the pedophile about it. That guy was a creep. Don't be the orphanage people about it. They were so mean. Ugh, there's a lot of people in this movie. Don't be the one lady who was such a brat. The lady from my Big Fat Greek Wedding wanted to. Don't be her. Okay. Bye. <laughs>